So, as I'm sure you know, .NET 9 has recently been released by Microsoft. This month, November 2024. Please check out .NET Conf 2024 for demos and detailed explanations of some of the exciting new improvements and enhancements that have been recently shipped with .NET 9. The link is in the description of this video. In this video, I'll discuss what I believe to be the top 10 features that have been shipped with .NET 9. I'm particularly excited about huge leaps that have been made in AI integration, .NET Aspire, native AOT compilation, enhanced C++ interoperability, and overall performance improvements. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring that bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. Please let me know about some of your favorite .NET 9 features all comments are, of course, welcome. I really appreciate your insights. I urge you to install this exciting new version of .NET, .NET 9, and I would love to receive any feedback you may have regarding your experiences with .NET 9. So, here are my top 10 features that have been shipped with .NET 9 that bring significant advancements for developers. Performance improvements, faster exceptions, two to four times speed up, improved loop performance and enhancements in dynamic PGO and RUJIT deliver substantial speedups for cloud native and general applications. Optimized ARM64 support further boosts performance on modern hardware. Okay, so firstly, what is dynamic PGO? Dynamic profile guided optimization, dynamic PGO, is an advanced performance optimization technique used by JIT compilers, such as RyuJIT, in the .NET runtime. Excellent, thank you. And what is RyuJIT? RyuJIT, in the .NET I runtime. I think I'll take this one, actually. RyuJIT is the just-in-time JIT compiler used in the .NET runtime, starting with .NET Framework 4.6 and .NET Core. It translates intermediate language IL code into machine code at runtime, ensuring the application runs efficiently on the host system. Right, let's look at what I think are the top 10 enhancements shipped with .NET 9. AI integration and tools. .NET 9 introduces tools for seamless AI integration, including the Microsoft.Extensions.AI library. Support for modern models like GPT and enhanced debugging features with AI, such as smart variable inspection and AI-powered i-enumerable visualizers. Modern web development. Enhancements in minimal APIs simplify lightweight web service creation. HTTP3 support improves web app performance by reducing latency and enabling fast handshakes. .NET Aspire for cloud-native development. This opinionated stack focuses on cloud-native applications with better telemetry, Kubernetes support, and observability via open telemetry. It simplifies the development and monitoring of distributed systems. Fluent designs updates for WPF and WinForms. Built-in support for Windows 11 themes like dark and light modes modernizes desktop applications. Improved text rendering and better accessibility features create visually cohesive and user-friendly apps. Entity Framework Core Advancements. Features like pre-compiled AOT, ahead of time queries and enhanced link queries boost database performance. Improved Cosmos DB support simplifies handling cloud scale databases. Enhanced C++ interoperability. Developers Working with legacy or high-performance C++ libraries benefit from better interop support, optimized marshalling, and improved cross-platform compatibility. Native AOT compilation. Native ahead-of-time AOT compilation minimizes cold start times and reduces app sizes, especially benefiting serverless and mobile applications. Improved libraries and SDK. Additions like Base64 URL encoding, new collection types, 
and better static analysis tools streamline development and enhance security. AI and semantic kernel integration. A stronger focus on integrating AI with the semantic kernel, Azure AI Tools and OpenAI SDK simplifies AI-driven app creation, making it easier to build intelligent data-driven solutions. So what is meant by AI and the semantic kernel? Semantic Kernel, SK, is an open source framework developed by Microsoft that integrates AI models like OpenAI's GPT and DALI image generation into applications. It is designed for building AI-first apps using a combination of skills, encapsulated actions like fetching data, sending emails, generating text, memory, persistent storage to recall previous interactions or information, Connectors, bridges to external systems, APIs, or data sources. Plugins, custom logic and functionalities that can extend the core SK framework. One thing I haven't mentioned that is definitely notable is C Sharp version 13. Let's go to the Microsoft Learn platform and read a bit about C Sharp 13. The link to this web page is included in the description of this video. C Sharp version 13, params collections, new lock type and semantics, New escape sequence, backslash E. Method group natural type improvements. Implicit indexer access in object initializers. Enable ref locals and unsafe contexts in iterators and async methods. Enable ref struct types to implement interfaces. Allow ref struct types as arguments for type parameters in generics. Partial properties and indexes are now allowed in partial types. Overload resolution priority allows library authors to designate one overload as better than others. While we are here, let's read about .NET MAUI. .NET MAUI, the focus of .NET multi-platform app UI, .NET MAUI and .NET 9 is enhanced performance and reliability and deeper integrations for desktop and mobile applications. .NET MAUI includes a new, more performant implementation of Collection View and Carousel View for iOS and Mac Catalyst, updates to existing controls, new app lifecycle events, and native AOT and trimming enhancements to improve app size and startup time. In addition, a new title bar desktop control is available for Windows. A new hybrid web view control enables easier inclusion of JavaScript-enabled content from frameworks like React, Vue, and Angular. Entry now supports additional keyboard modes. Control handlers automatically disconnect from their controls when possible. Main page is deprecated in favor of setting the primary page of the app by overriding application.create window, in parentheses, I activation state class. Cool, and let's also read about AI building blocks. AI building blocks. .NET 9 introduces a unified layer of c -sharp abstractions through the Microsoft.extensions.ai and Microsoft.extensions.vector data packages. These abstractions facilitate interaction with AI services, including small and large language models, SLMs and LLMs, embeddings, vector stores, and middleware. .NET 9 also includes new tensor types that expand AI capabilities. Tensor primitives and the new tensor type expand AI capabilities by enabling efficient encoding, manipulation, and computation of multidimensional data. You can find these types in the latest release of the system.numerics.tensors package. So .NET 9 is another welcome upgrade to .NET. It is definitely a great time to be a .NET and C-sharp developer. For loads of demonstrations and presentations straight from the folks at Microsoft regarding .NET 9, please check out .NET Conf 2024. I've included the relevant link below in the description of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at GavinLonDigital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. 
Please let me know some of your favorite .NET 9 features. All comments are, of course, welcome. Your insights are always appreciated. I urge you to install this exciting new version of .NET, .NET 9, and I would love to receive any feedback you may have regarding your experiences with .NET 9. I hope to see you soon. Thank you, and take care. Entity Framework Core Enhancements. Features like pre-compiled AOT ahead of time, queries, Entity Framework Core Advancements. Features like pre-compiled AOT ahead of time queries and ad... It would be great.